What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music production, music licensing, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. So today I'm going to show you a couple ways to export stems or track outs, however you want to call it, outside um, Logic Pro 10. So there's some easy ways to do it and then there's some long ways, but there's kind of some benefits to the long ways of doing it, just depending on what you're doing, who you're sending stems to and uh, things like that. So obviously if you're in a situation where you're sending um, your tracks to be mixed and mastered by another engineer, um, usually they want you to send individual stems like each thing tracked out so your kick your snare your hi-hat your piano your strings whatever um, they want those individuals so they can have the flexibility um, to mix and, and master and do what they need to do on their end um, so there's a certain way you want those to be presented and if you have a lot of tracks it can take a long time uh, to individually you know export individual tracks but there's an easy way to do it um, on the flip side, if you're working in music licensing like I do, where you're getting your music placed in TV and film, sometimes when they refer to stems, they're talking about all the drums or all of the um, all of the strings or all of the pianos or all of the synths, um, different things like that. So that I approach a little bit different differently, but I'll show you both ways so you'll know both ways in case you need to use both for whatever reason. So let's dig into it. I am going to share my screen. We're going to hop into Logic Pro 10 here. Um, let's see. This video is brought to you by Treasure Keys. Shameless plug. This is a recent sound pack that I just released on my website. So that's one of the loops. I have like 20 tracks in this joint. So obviously I have to bounce these out um, once I'm done and turn it into a, a loop pack. Uh, so producers like you can can download it and use it for your, um, you know, your creative works or whatever. Um, so this is usually how I do stems when working in TV and film. Now this is kind of the longer way of bouncing things out, but it's the only way I can do it. Um, because I don't have to send individual stems all the time. So what I usually do um, is, for example, um, say these three tracks are drums, right? So I will solo those three, three tracks. And then let's see, I'm going to use this, uh, this cycle feature here and it highlights it in yellow and this what this does is it allows you to select the area that you actually want to bounce um, so I use this just to make sure everything is starting at the same time and ending at the same time that's super important so if any editor or engineer needs to drag files into their DAW everything is still lined up and it matches just as you produced it so they're not having to slide and drag things to make it make sense pretty much so i would take these solo all three and then i'm hitting command b to bring up the bounce window so here we're going to do pcm wave we'll do 24 bit uh let's do 48 do offline i keep normalize off because i don't want any weird volume changes to my tracks i want them as is um let's see i leave this as interleaved uh no dithering and yeah we're good so as you can see the start and end which you can honestly change here too but i feel like it's more complicated because now you're really gonna have to pay attention to the numbers of where it ends so to keep it simple i just use that yellow cycle feature um and then it's ready to bounce so then i hit okay and then I'll select where I want this to go. So let's see, um, let's just put it in this songs folder and just name it drum stem. And then it'll bounce it out in just that region that we highlighted. So it won't go 
um, any further or any less than what we selected, which is pretty dope. All right, so that's done. And I'll do that for whatever section of tracks that I need to bounce out. So this gives me the flexibility to select, you know, certain tracks that I want to bounce. So if I wanted to bounce all of my snares and say I stacked, you know, two or three snares, but I just wanted to send them one single snare file, I have that flexibility to, to select which tracks um, that I want to do. So that's kind of the long way if you have a lot of tracks, but it gives you the flexibility. So now let's go over the easy way to bounce all of these out at once. And all you have to do is just wait for Logic to do its thing. So again, I wanna use this cycle feature because this is gonna make sure every track starts at the same time and ends at the same time. Again, super important if you're sending to another engineer to mix and drag your, your work into another DAW. Um, so we have that selected. Now we want to go to file, want to go to export, and we are going to uh, go to all tracks as audio files. All right, so now we get this this window, and it looks a little bit different than the standard Command B um, bounce window that we used before. Um, so this gives us a few more options. First, let's select where we're going to put it. Um, I'm going to create a new folder because I want to put all these individual stems in a, its own folder for organizational purposes. And then here where it says range, we're gonna select export cycle range only. And that's gonna be what we have highlighted in the yellow um, cycle range. Um, so that's super important, we'll select that again. And if you want like to add some extra space after where the loop ends or after where your track ends, then just extend that yellow bar um, by just clicking it and then dragging it to wherever you want to extend it to. So we'll do wave, uh, we'll just do 16 bit for this, it's just a tutorial. Um, let's see, so if you have plugins and you want those plugin effects um, to print to what you're, what you're exporting, um, then just leave this part unchecked. Um, if you check it, this will bypass the plugin. So if you have a compressor or an EQ on it, this is gonna bounce it as if those plugins aren't on it. So if you don't want those effects and you just want everything raw um, or dry, as we say, um, then you would just, uh, you would check that if you want them dry. But I want my EQs and my effects and everything on these tracks. Um, here again, you have the, the option to include volume or pan automation. So if you're doing some automating with the, the panning and it's panning left and right, um, and you want to include that, then just check this box. If you don't want to include that and you just want everything to just be where it's set to um, and not change, then you can just leave that unchecked. Um, normalize, I turn off again. I don't want any weird volume changes in the tracks. I want them as is. And then here, it's pretty cool because you can customize how you want that, that track to be titled. Um, so if you want the, the track name, you can just take, take this, click it and drag it. And then if you want I don't know if you want a year and a, a date or something weird. Um, you can do project name. Um, if you want to categorize, however you want to categorize it, and you can kind of um, drag and drop and rearrange however you want. Um, so let's do, I don't want this one. So we'll do track name. And you can also throw a, a track number on there as well and we'll say year. You can also add um, custom custom messages or text or whatever too, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so those are the options and we are ready to export. All right, so what this is gonna do is, it's literally gonna export all of the tracks all as individual stems um, inside the folder that I designated and you only have to bounce it out once. Now, it will take a while if it's like a full song, obviously, but you don't have to do it one by one. You can do it all at once. 
And once it's done, we're gonna open up the folder and I'll show you that each and every track is like the exact same size, which is what you wanna look for just to make sure it starts and stops at the same time. All right, so now that that is done, so we can make this bigger. Okay, so you can see here, we have the, the track number, the track title, which they're all the same because for whatever reason, I named all my tracks the same thing. And then the year. So it did exactly what we asked it to do. And then we also have, uh, we can see that the, the size, they're all exactly the same size, um, which is good. Then if you play it. So they sound good. Everything is there. Everything is bounced out. You can zip this folder up and then send it to whoever you need to send it to. And that is how, um, well, that's like two different ways you can bounce uh, stems or track outs of Logic Pro 10. Really easy, really simple and um, keeps everything organized and you still have the flexibility if you want to do it the previous way as well. Also, if you want to grab my new Treasure Key Sound Pack, I'll leave a link in the description and also a discount code so you can take 20% off um, of that sound pack and go ahead. It's royalty free so you can use it for whatever you want to use it to and don't have to worry about trying to hunt me down to, to, for royalties. Question of the day, how do you usually bounce out stems and tracks if you do at all or do you just leave everything in logic? Let me know in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.